Yep. Perfect, guys. Look at that. Oh, that was a good net. Ooh. Oh, I have never caught something like this before. Wow, I see a ton of fish in here. Welcome back to Rob's Class, guys. In today's video, we're going to try to catch some aquarium fish with a waterfall fish trap. You guys might have seen this location before in some other videos, but I have never tried to fish this on my own, so we're going to try to do that today. If the weather enables us, it's been raining like crazy in South Florida, but regardless, we're going to try to do our best. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, and let's get right into the video. And so it actually did start to rain just now but i think we're gonna try to thug it out because if you look at the waterway right here if you look there's a bunch of this structure right here so we're not going to be able to net in this area all too well but the waterfall is actually a lot closer to the water level because the water level is so much higher which is going to work in our favor we just have to clear away some of this stuff right here so we could set the trap and i don't know if this was done intentionally to like try to keep us out but it's not gonna work because i'm gonna make it work <clears throat> i just gotta clear out a path so we could get to the trap spot couple of twigs ain't nothing for me they need to plant a tree right here to keep me out but we've almost got this completely cleared out the way and then once we do we'll be able to set our fish trap right here guys why where this little waterfall pipe is so i'm actually gonna grab the trap right now get it set grab a net we're gonna try to fish despite the rain and poor conditions and we're gonna just see what we could do so luckily guys i don't know if we need any cat food or bait in general for this trap. I'm pretty confident we'll be able to slide it over and just leave part of it in the water. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I might need to move some more stuff. Yep, perfect guys, look at that. So we're gonna do this. So now it's set right there. We just gotta take this. That is gonna be money. Cause fish aren't gonna be able to fall through that. We just need to come around the back right here and tie it down to something because if you saw just now it got kicked off take a branch right here boom just like that guys the trap is set perfectly in the waterfall and we might need to leave it there for a few hours because the rain is really starting to pick up which you know it's just how it is it's this is how it's been like the last week and a half in south florida just crazy rain so we're gonna leave that set right there we're gonna come back to it i'm gonna probably gonna go to the gym while the rain goes and worst case scenario we leave it overnight and come back tomorrow good news the trap is still in place after the rain has passed um i don't know if we're completely out of the clear yet but regardless we're gonna do our best i got both the keeper bucket and our little net right here so we're gonna jump down here and start fishing somewhere i want to find i mean we'll try our best in these we'll, uh we'll try our best in these pads right here i might try to find something a little bit more see this is what i'm looking for fish love to hide in cover so we're probably gonna jump down here fight off a few spiders and start netting around do our best first night of the day oh <laughs> all right sick so we caught a single molly right here guys so this is a pretty big one i do believe this connects to the hub i'm not sure if it does for certain it's hard to tell where that pipe ends up we've tried to trail it before but we've never been able to do it but we got our first catch of the day definitely not a keeper so we're just gonna put him back in the water and keep netting around but lame little molly nothing too crazy but we're gonna work this edge right here and see if we can pull up any fish oh oh Look at that. Oh, so cute. A bunch of little tadpoles. Now these are uh, the bullfrog tadpoles. These are not in base. Oh my God. I almost just cuddled with a bunch of spiders. Oh no. But regardless, these tadpoles are adorable. We're going to get them back in the water. We don't want to keep them out of water, but hopefully those spiders don't come back around. I hate spiders. And we're just going to keep scoping, netting around, see what we could pull up in here. Let's see. Oh, some more tadpoles. Those are kind of neat. The water's a little cooler, but we got some tadpoles right here. Nothing too crazy. So we're just going to keep working along this edge. Oh, something just jumped. But I got my boots on, so we should be able to do a little bit of off-roading. Hopefully, I don't get got by any spiders. I think I got bit by one yesterday. <sighs> oh, <laughs> look at that, guys. We got a nice little mine stick right here. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, as you guys know, these are pretty common invasive. He, uh, no, he just shot water in my eye. But he's a pretty common invasive in South Florida. We're just going to set him free. Let him do his thing. Nothing we're interested in keeping. I'm going to try to keep this rapid fire just in case the rain decides to come back down again. Oh, I just saw a fish over there. The weed line is so tall. It's going to make it really difficult to see any fish. So we got to just do our best to try and get the sneak on them. Anything in this net? Oh, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, wait, right here, guys. You look right, oh, please tell me there's no spiders. These, this structure too, guys, is like perfect for the spiders that, the spiders that like to hang around the water. So I really don't want to get bit. I don't know if they even can. They're weird little 
dudes but we got our first exotic fish of the day guys we got a nice little fire mouth cichlid we're gonna put him in the keeper bucket just because um first little exotic and we're gonna keep on keep it on we're gonna net this whole trench right here and then maybe then one over where that tunnel leads and then we'll check the trap all right beautiful beautiful little exotic cichlid right here oh dude look how many fish are down there i see a bunch of small mollies right there Damn, but we got our bucket right here. I would love to get a close up on this guy for you, but it's very, very difficult with the GoPro and my hands are too wet to use my phone. This is a fire mouth cichlid. I've caught them plenty of times at this point. We're just gonna keep him in that little keeper bucket and keep on getting it done. This stuff is like super, super thick. Oh, tons of tadpoles. So many tadpoles in this water, kind of crazy. We're after the fishes, but this water, you know, sometimes when it rains, it's really nice after the fact. And then other times when it rains, it's like absolutely miserable. But right now it's pretty nice. So I'm having a good time. We're getting tadpoles like literally every net. But I gotta make sure I return them all to the water. We want them to do as well as possible or as good as possible. I don't know which one's grammatically correct. No tadpoles or anything else in this net. Not a big deal. We're just going to keep working our way over here. Oh, that was a good net. Oh, oh no. I saw a big body in there, but I think it's just one of those fat mollies. Let me see. At this point, I've caught so, like, I've literally caught thousands of these. So when I see them, I can recognize them very, very quickly. But we got a big old molly right here. We're just going to return him to his water. Oh, <laughs> another one. <laughs> Sick. We got another nice self and Molly right here. Again, we'll just put them back in the water because we don't really have any interest in keeping those. We could pretty much catch them at any point in time. I know like dozens of locations with them. We're going to keep going. Uh, we might pop on over us over that tunnel on that other side and see what we can do over there. This side of the canal is looking a lot more difficult to fish, but we're, regardless, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna do our best to net around in here to give that trap more time to settle and that water more time to push fish into the trap. But we're just gonna take a little peek over here, see what we're working with. I see some tall grass, very, very nice. So yeah, we'll jump down right here and see what we can do. For this section, I'm just gonna swoop over the top of this stuff. See what we can do. Uh, Nothing in that net, not even little tadpoles. Is this poison ivy? I don't know. Steep little hill right here. Oh, that was such a bad net here. Let me get down here. I don't want to stand in the potential poison ivy while sorting through this. Did we catch anything? Oh, what is that? Oh, I have never caught something like this before. It looks like a little barb or like maybe even a little loach. It's got like such a weird slender shape, kind of like I don't, it looks like a clown loach, but this is definitely not a clown loach. What is that? Look at it, it's striped like a tiger. It's got like zebra stripes. If you guys know what this fish is, comment it down below. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a loach, kind of, it's a weird little fish, bro. I have, oh my God, is that a cool fish though? I have no idea what that is. So we're just gonna get them in the keeper bucket. And at the end of the video, guys, I think I'll get a close up with my uh, camera to show you guys everything we caught at the end but that is such a cool little fish i have no idea what that is wow his nose is like red that is a really cool fish i have no clue but i don't think we caught anything else in this net so we're just gonna dump this all back in there and keep working our way down oh more tadpoles i could see off the top ultimately though nothing in this net i don't believe oh no my spidey senses are sensing. Oh, I see a couple drizzle droplets coming down. So we're going to do a few more nets, guys. And then we're going to pull the trap because I just want to beat the rain. You know, I love to get longer videos out for you guys. But at the same time, uh, it's near impossible when the weather conditions are the way they are. We just got to take it as it comes. Oh, oh, a cichlid. Oh, nice. There's an eastern happy cichlid in here. Beautiful. It looks like it may be a female or a really ugly male. Then we got a ton of little tadpoles in here. Nothing too, too crazy. But yeah, nice little Eastern happy cichlid. We're gonna get him back in the water. So honestly, at this point, I'm kind of certain this does connect to the hub in some shape or form. I don't know how or where, but oh damn, I got got by a bug. That's so not cool, bro. <laughs> That's so not cool. But yeah, I think this does connect to the exotic fish hub. I'll try to do three more nets and then check the trap just because of the weather conditions. Oh no, my boots filling up. Damn, bro, damn. Nothing in that net though. Another net right here. <sighs> nah, I'm not seeing anything. So one more net guys, we gotta dump this out. Let's take another net. I think this big pocket right there, there's gotta be a fish hiding there. We'll take our last net right here and then check the trap just because I don't wanna get rained out before we get a chance to do that. Oh, huge net, damn. All right, I'm just gonna dump this one out 
and sort through it. Damn. Okay, that was our biggest net of crap yet. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that guy. We definitely have caught these here in the past, guys. These are some nice little sun catfish. We're going to put them back in the net for the time being while I sort through the rest of this, just to make sure we don't miss anything. Not seeing anything in this. Oh, there's a nice little molly down here. All right, cool. So we caught, oh, there's a second. So we got another two mollies from this little net right here. We're going to just throw them back in the water because we're not going to be keeping these guys. Be free, my friends. And then we're going to get this fish right here, this nice little sun catfish in the keeper bucket. The gang stalkers think they're so slick. Look at them walking. Yeah, sure, you're not a fed. It's definitely a federal agent. But we're going to get this guy in our keeper bucket with the rest of these. Free yourself, my friend. Let go. Let go. They got crazy spines on them. Oop, there you go. Nice, beautiful. So we got the nice little sun catfish, and we got that weird looking fish and the fire mouth cichlid. So, pretty good spot. We're gonna check the trap. Hopefully I don't get dunked on, and yeah, should be good. Okay, good news is the trap remained intact, and there's nothing, no signs of anybody messing, messing with it. So we're gonna run down here, get it off this stick, and see what we caught in here, if anything at all. All right. Please play nice. Oh! Wow, I see a ton of fish in here. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got to move fast to sort through this. I see some sick. Oh, nice. Right off the top. Where'd he go? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful little baby Oscar right here, guys. Gorgeous little fish. Get him in the keeper bucket. Another one of these nice, nice loaches. Another one of these nice, nice mystery fish. That is not it. That is an Eastern Happy Cichlid. Hey, bud. There it is. One of these mystery fish right here. Beautiful little dude. Get him in the keeper bucket with the rest of his friends. A nice little male Eastern Happy Cichlid. Not the best color on him, but still a pretty nice fish. Let's see what else we got in here. What are you? Oh, a nice convict cichlid. That's, oh, Oh, he fell right back in the trap. Cool. <laughs> I almost got so scared. But nice little convict cichlid. Get him right in there. Another beautiful eastern happy cichlid. Awesome. Another little convict. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Get him in there. Again, guys, I'll show you everything after we get everything. In the net, I see a mine cichlid. Oh, no. No way. There's an eel. Okay, this has to connect to the hub, bro. Look. There's an eel in here. I don't know what kind yet. I'm just trying to get him out of the trap. Look at that, guys. We got a beautiful little eel right here. Oh, that is sick. Get him in the bucket. That is awesome. I'm just shaking around. Oh, another two convicts. Wait, what? Another convict cichlid. Oh, wow. This male molly. Look at the fins on him. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful male molly. I think I saw a couple more fish in here. Oh, <laughs> there's a nice sun catfish right here. Oh, I'm trying not to get stabbed when I pick him up. Come on. Come on, friend. I mean you, no harm. A nice sun catfish right there. And damn, I really got got good by a bug, bro. Damn. And let's see. Any other cool fish? I see a lot of mollies, a lot of cichlid. Nothing that seems worth mentioning. Another Eastern Happy Cichlid, but we've uh, shown enough of those. Let's see. Anything else? I'm not sure we caught anything else out of this trap other than the basics. Yeah, I think the rest of these are just some basic fish. So we're going to get them back in the water. And then right here, guys, are all the catches from today. So we got that nice little Oscar down there. We got some nice convict cichlids as well. And then these mystery fish right here that I've never seen before. I've never seen those things before as long as well as that eel another sun catfish well the both the sun catfish and fire mouth and then two more convicts right there so overall pretty good day right here and just like that guys as soon as i checked the trap or finished checking the trap rather the rain started coming down like the weather has been so brutal but i hope you guys enjoy the video please like the video subscribe to your note and turn on post notifications if you did i've got some stuff going on in the background that i might potentially have a house soon and if not probably in November. I'm going to keep applying places, you know, try my best to find like the perfect spot. You know, I'm being patient with it because at the end of the day, if I'm going to be stuck somewhere for a year, I'd rather be somewhere I actually want to be. You know what I mean? So I'm just taking my time with it. I've been fortunate enough to stay with some friends for the time being. And on the fifth is when I go into that Airbnb, but we're going to the hood, bro. So <laughs> that might be interesting. Hopefully not because if it gets interesting, that means something happened. But who knows? Time will tell, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.